kimbap is the most basic food in Korean cuisine. In fact, it's more than just food to Koreans. In the Korean language, we have several words for rice, including sair, which refers to the white polished grain, and pop, which refers to the cooked rice, or even in some cases, the entire meal itself. In Korea, asking if someone has eaten is a common way of saying hello. Eating reflects how you are, how life is. As the saying goes, bop is medicine. For many centuries, bop has been at the center of Korean life. Time hasn't diminished the importance of bop in the Korean culinary culture. Join us as we explore the meaning of bop and its culture in Korea. What significance has pop had in the lives of Koreans over the centuries? The table that's set for a baby's first birthday is known as a torsang, and this is where the torjabi, or the symbolic grabbing of a certain item, which is to augur a certain future for the child. What significance does pop have on the torsang? The dorsong is filled with various kinds of food. The bowl of rice and spoon on the table represents the baby's ability to wean itself from mother's milk. On their first birthday, babies receive a rice bowl and spoon and begin to learn how to eat on their own. On the torsum, pop represents the hope that the child is to grow up healthy and strong. And accompanying this pop are panchan, which are traditional Korean side dishes, and this completes the papsang, or table. Now, traditional Korean papsang have come in a variety of forms, but how has the modern papsang changed since then? As in the past, Korean meals today are composed of bop and side dishes. Bop is at the center, and on the side are kimchi, seasoned vegetables, grilled fish, soup, and other dishes. Everyday meal table includes bop and 3 to 12 chop or side dishes. The three chop bansang includes three side dishes in addition to the basic bop, soup, kimchi, and soy sauce. The table setting is expanded by adding dry foods, chan, stews, grilled foods, and raw foods. Korean meals are largely composed of a vegetarian diet. Adding side dishes of various ingredients or seasonal dishes helps to maintain nutritional balance. Pop is the staple food of Korea. There are also side dishes that you eat with pop. Korean food culture now includes table set with three, five, seven, and nine chop, or side dishes. The custom of bansang began around the year 1400. 
The Ban song from then is not too different from what we see today. However, the one difference is that in the past, white rice was precious because of its scarcity and underdeveloped milling techniques. Today, people prefer multigrain bop for health reasons. So, when did pop first start appearing in the typical Korean diet? Bop became a staple food around 5000 to 4000 BC. We can find the origin of bop in the carbonized rice that was excavated in Ga Hyunni Gimpo. The excavated carbonized grain suggest that bop first appeared in the Neolithic age. Back then, rice was probably steamed in an earthenware called shiru. Today's pop was born when metal pots were first developed. The estimated date is 20 AD, judging from historical texts that mention rice was cooked in pots. Also, rice became a staple food in Korea in the late 1400s. Which was when the production of rice increased significantly. The rice, grown on a land that passes through four distinct seasons, was washed, boiled, steamed, and burned to become bop. The process of making bop from the pots that are used to adjusting heat and time is grounded in science. This is a famous restaurant in Ichan, Gyeonggi Province. The bop here is made with rice from the plains of Ichan and Yeoju. Famous for its glossy, soft bop, the restaurant is packed with eager customers. What's the secret to their bop? We ask the head chef. Ichon rice has always been famous. It was even served to the king. But it tastes even better and stickier because it is cooked in this pot. So they say that pop cooked in a kamasot, which is this iron pot, it's actually really a cauldron, tastes the best. And they say that the kamasot itself imparts a certain flavor onto the pop. The production of gamasot, or iron pots, involves unique traditional techniques. Ansung Jumul has been run by four generations of a family of pot makers. Master Kim Song Tae pours liquid metal into the mold. The pot is taken out and subjected to heat. This is how a traditional gamma sot is made. The bottom is thick, so the heat is transferred to the bottom well. It gets thinner toward the top, so that the heat spreads evenly. 
Convection also creates air pressure inside the pot and pushes air along the round shape of the lid and back down, infusing the unique taste and aroma into the grains. The pot also has small holes that allow fire into the pot. This structure is what makes the rice more healthful and delicious. Several texts written in the Joseon dynasty when the Bonsong culture took root give advice on making delicious bop. The historical texts dictate that good bop starts with the right amount of water. And above all, you must know how to control the fire and steaming process. Koreans are sensitive to the taste of bop and prefer glossy, chewy, and soft rice. This is why, even today, Koreans prefer to use pressure cookers or electric rice cookers that employ the principles of cooking in an iron pot. Rice is extremely delicious when it is cooked in a traditional iron pot and steamed carefully. You get the best pop when you use the right amount of water. For the best rice, control the heat properly and steam the rice at the right pace. Now, just about everyone can agree that pop, when cooked in a kamaso, particularly over an open fire, is at its most delicious. Now, I remember my first taste of pop that I had after living abroad for so many years, and especially yongyang pop. Now, yongyang, it means nutritious. So yongyang pop is pop made with various nutritional ingredients. Now, what are the varieties of nutritious and delicious pop here in Korea? Since long ago, Koreans have been adding grains and vegetables to rice for health reasons. This is a famous Yongyang Bop restaurant in Seoul. The customers are so busy enjoying the Bop that they aren't even looking at the side dishes. In the kitchen, the chef fills thick stone pots with white rice, black rice, beans, ginkgo nuts, and dates. Yongyang bop, which supplements the nutrition in rice with beans, dates, and other ingredients, is as tasty as it is helpful. Some Koreans enjoy rice cooked with bean sprouts, Bean sprouts are rich in protein, vitamins, and fiber. They add not only nutrition, but also a savory taste to pop. Bean sprouts pop is made by cooking soaked rice with bean sprouts. Mixing the sticky bean sprouts bop with a drop or two of soy sauce and sesame oil produces a delicious, hearty meal. Mm. 
Koreans say that you haven't eaten unless you've had some good bok. Still, it is a well-known fact that Koreans are eating less bok than they did in the past. In December 2012, one pottery company compared the rice bowls from the 1940s and 2005. The bowls had shrunk from 680 milliliters to 290 milliliters. The average rice consumption had decreased by 60% over 70 years. Why are Koreans eating less rice than before? In the Joseon dynasty, the Korean diet consisted mostly of vegetables with little meat or fatty food. Koreans got their energy from rice, so they ate more rice than we do today. With the appearance of high-calorie foods, Koreans now eat less grains today. Modern life requires less energy, which has also decreased the essential amount of food consumption. There is also a tendency to advocate eating less for health reasons. What is the nutritional content of a bowl of bop? Bop is mostly made of rice, which is about 74% carbohydrates and 6% protein. It's also easy to digest because of its high water content and has fiber and vitamin B1. When rice is processed, it becomes either brown rice or white rice. If only the husk is removed, you get brown rice. If the bran and embryo are also removed, the result is white rice. An analysis of vitamin B1 content in rice shows that 32% is contained in the husk, 65% in the embryo, and only 3% in white rice. In short, white rice is stripped of much of the original nutrients. Further research shows that barley rice, brown rice, and rice with beans are healthier than white rice. This is why Koreans today often prefer to have multi-grain bop with brown rice black rice and beans, rather than plain white rice. For Koreans who have enjoyed bop as a staple food for millennia, bop has a whole culture of its own. To Koreans, bop is more than just food. It is life, history, and culture. From birth to death, a special table is set for each rite of passage, with bop at the center. From cradle to grave, and even after death, we are celebrated and remembered with Bob. Pop has special meaning for Koreans. It can represent life itself, has significance in matters of the afterlife, and it connects people. In the past, communities would create one large pot of pop, share it, and it would help strengthen community spirit. The practice of sharing ogopap, or five-grain rice, during Cheongwor Teborum is a good example of this tradition.
On the 15th day of the first month of the lunar calendar, Koreans eat ogokbap along with hard nuts. Five grain bap is made with glutinous rice, sorghum, millet, beans, and red bean. It symbolizes hopes for a plentiful harvest in the new year. The well-known Korean dish, bibimbap, also originates from the practice of umbok, or sharing of food on New Year's Eve and after performing ancestral rites. Bibimbap is a simple dish of rice mixed with seasoned vegetables, eggs, and red pepper paste or soy sauce. By using different ingredients, Koreans today enjoy bap in diverse forms, such as oyster bap, matsutake bap, yak bap, and kimbap. To Koreans, bap can be a thousand things. It can simply be food made with rice or a source of energy. It might have different meanings for different people. But above all, to Koreans, bap is life, history, and a symbol of communal culture. Bop, a staple food made with rice. For Koreans, bop is a hearty source of energy, a way of sharing experiences, and a way of honoring life's landmarks, including birth, adulthood, marriage, 60th birthday, and death. On the Korean meal table, side dishes are there to complement bop, symbolizing the Korean spirit of cooperation and equality. And bop is referred to in everyday greetings to wish others well. To Koreans, bop is life and a symbol of sharing in a communal culture. Thank you.